Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger. Today is the Tuesday the 26th of May and I have rebuilt the solar panel stand. This shed is in need of some attention and it will have to be dismantled and some issues rectified. There were some issues when it was built and when it was resized uh, a year or two ago. So it needs work and it needs to be dismantled. So I, I've took the solar panels off the roof and they are now on a new stand. It's a ground standing, ground, it stands on the ground, this new stand. Most of this stand is made out of three by three, three inch by three inch uh, timber fence posts. Some of these were spares when fencing was repaired in the past and some of it is other reclaimed timber that was in the garden. So this new frame is much more substantial, being made of 3x3 three three fence posts rather than bits of fence panel. These are the two 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels, they're 100 watts each and they are wired in series to feed a Sun Saver MPPT maximum power point tracking controller which is upstairs. So these are the 17 and a half volt panels. They're wired in series to give a nominal 24 volts but the output voltage can go anything up to the low 40s volts. So these, this solar panel stand now angles the solar panels at 50 degrees it's much closer to our latitude which is 52 degrees so that's the angle that gives you the best power so these are the best angle so that's the front of the stand this stand has taken two days to build at the side there you can see fussy cat the chair was where I was bolting the panels to the frame. If I take you around the other side, it might get a bit shaky, so bear with me. Okay, this is the back of the solar panel stand, made with 3x3 three three fence posts and some other reclaimed materials. And it is held together with screws and metal plates. So this is the stand. This is the back of the stand. The panels are bolted to the stand up there and in the corners. It was very hard to do and I banged my head many times on these beams. So that's how that is. This is the wiring, so from one panel and the other panel, and the wiring converges along here, and then it goes into the, the fee cable that goes into the house. So these are the 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels. If I turn you around sideways, you can see some of the ratings on the solar panels. They're 100 watts, and the maximum power current is 5.8 amps, and the maximum power voltage is 17.2 volts. And that's the label. So that is the stand. It is quite substantial and quite heavy, but the main thing is it's not actually attached to the ground, so it can be moved if need be. I apologize for the jump around. It is a garden, there's stuff around. So 
Now these solar panels, they're exposed to the sun, they get warm, and that's my new solar panel stand. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. Today, when I hooked these up, I had a peak wattage of 190 watts, so they promise to do well. So that's this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching, and until next time, thank you.